review so now reviewing from uh from wales gifted to me by the very good dave fell or go fed in the channel and as you can see if you look up the top there you can see the purple moose purple moose brewery bar runner if that's what you call them so this is calon is that's how you pronounce it calon lamb um yeah calon lamb thank god for that um so get the magnifying glass out calon lamb is an amber colored bit best bitter brewed with water from the hills of snowdonia crystal malt and roasted barley combined with aromatic u.s hops creates a smooth full-bodied malty beer with a pleasant fruity hop finish you see amber, you smell grapefruit and floral, and you taste malty and blackcurrant. 4%. Let's give it a whirl. And it's on the car tomorrow, so I've just been out, give it its yearly clean. <laughs> give it a good clean, and even got the dirt out of the back of the car. Yeah. Car looks really nice now. Yeah. But anyway, back to the bit. So yeah, I've got quite a few Welsh beers to get through, so I need to crack on. And some re-reviews I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do them as shorts instead of messing about. So we'll test the shorts out again, see how they go. Um, so yeah, amber coloured pour, a little bit of subtle carbonation, lovely frothy white head on this, nearly dropped it down as well, it's just about to slip through my fingers. Definitely floral on the aroma. And there is a touch of grapefruit, only a touch, more floral than, than grapefruit. Chisel, ready for this, tell you, ready. It's drank at a temperature of six degrees in the beer room. No eater on, I've just come from the car, I've washed two cars and then I cleaned them out. So, uh, that's freezing. Feet are freezing. I'm going in the house and get warm. Sit on the settee and fall asleep in about five minutes. As you do do at this time of year. You should get, you've been out in the cold all day. You get in the warm, it's like, gone. Yeah. Well, I'll do anyway. Nice. Quite a nice bite to it. Um, subtle, but nice. There is a fruitiness. Very subtle, very subtle blackcurrant fruitiness. You know, it's not all about in your face beers. Um, beers have to cater for the for the country, and yes, craft beer is popular these days, immensely popular. The biggest selling beers are actually still traditional beers. On the whole, at least. Oh, that is it in the spot. Let me make sure there's none left in. Here we go. Don't like to leave any behind. You know how it is. Don't leave a drop behind. Oh. So I'm off now for the weekend. Well, I'm not because I've got two gardens to do, albeit weather permitting. Here's open my car. Touch wood. Here's hoping my car goes through the MOT tomorrow pretty cheap. Do not want no big bills. Can't afford it for them. And uh, I don't want them for two. One never knows. Pitfalls of owning the car. It is what it is, isn't it? You know, you can see my raggy's tap room hat on. And this was also sent to me by Dave. Cheers, mate. It's keeping my head warm. Um, this time of the year, critical to wear a hat. Even if you don't like wearing it, I never used to wear a hat. But your hat seals the heat and stops all that heat disappearing out the top of your head. And it looks better than having a hood up. And then thermal socks as well. There you go. Back is gardening. And when it goes really bitter cold, leggings underneath, thermal leggings under these trousers. Trust me, it all helps. Keeps you, keeps you that little bit warmer. So slight tangent. I'm at work today. Something's been... We've got a big marquee, a former wedding marquee, turned into a greenhouse, per se at least, um, of sorts. 
but it's great for cuttings you know i've got fuchsia cuttings hundreds there's a video i've uploaded earlier check that video out you'll see what i mean inside it's amazing raggy's kitchen gardens the video and it is it's great what i've done uh, blow my own trumpet obviously but a little bit anyway the other day i know i went in and something's been at my seeds and i'm thinking is it a bird is it something else god knows so I've had the seeds in that plastic containers just on the top, you know, nothing's been thrown. And then it were disturbed the other day, so I started to um, clamp the containers shut. But there was a couple not, not because obviously they're not them type of containers. And uh, got there today, something's been at them again. I'm like, my gosh. So I'm there putting the stuff in, all of a sudden something moved and I thought, what was that? Back to me mice next a mouse next to my hands now for most people that's not a bad thing they're not bothered but for me i have a real fear of mice and rats and uh, yeah it made me jump and uh, i need to get some poison in there yeah can't be done with that hey my gosh kill the little bleeders not only that but they're causing damage to my plants uh, in the summer months as well, so it needs sorting. It needs some cats, that's what we need. A hotel cat, that'll be good. Sort their little mice and rats out. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Or owls, owls are good, they can spot them. Magpies as well, and crows, they are and all. Um, there was one running across the lawn one day, apparently, I didn't see it. And I think it was a crow that came down and had it. No. Anyway. So yeah, lovely pour on this. And it's, and it's lovely to get beers from breweries that, you know, you just wouldn't, you know, being in England, we'd never see these in shops. So for it to make its way and for me, to be able to review it it's great i mean as someone who loves beers and wants to review as many different breweries as he can give a bit of a nod to a brewery you know get the name out there i know barry um all the beer no idea i know he has reviewed um a craft beer that these good people have brought out recently so that's great it's getting their name out he's he lives on the border I'm sure he does. I'm sure he lives on the border of Wales, or he actually lives in Wales. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure he, he will comment, or someone will comment for him. But yeah, and it's and it's good to get these these breweries out into the public. And if the beer sounds nice to someone, they may go, you know, at least well one day when they're over that way, or even go on the internet and and buy some beers. And it's all good. It's getting that name out there. You know, it's. Uh, in this day and age with social media um the power of social media these days is not to be underestimated for good as well as obviously the other you know social media can be very dangerous in the other side but we'll only talk about the good side of it i'm not interested in negativity i'm interested in positivity i'm interested in good beer good breweries you know everyone's got to earn a living and if it's good beer it needs to be promoted that's the way I see it anyway. And to be fair, there's not a lot of bad beer out there because these they, those sort of breweries disappear quite quickly. Albeit unless they're brewing for Audi. <clears throat> there's a couple of beers in Audi that were dodgy beers. Um, I'm sure people around the country know of them. Well, they're one that's from a very good brewery up north, which is strange because they are a good brewery. But obviously there's stuff that goes off behind the scenes that we're not all privy to so you can't comment on the stuff you don't really know anything about so that black currant in the taste it's very very subtle and it's and it's strange because it's a weird one because you get a touch of grapefruit on the nose but you don't really get a uh, grapefruit in the taste. I don't taste any grapefruit. I taste fruitiness. I taste a hint of black. I taste the black one. On nose, you get floral. So it's a really interesting beer. How you get a different on the nose to the taste. 
I know it happens quite a lot in beers where you get a fantastic nose and then you get to the taste and you can't get it and it's like where did that go uh it's, it's interesting isn't it it's interesting how hops and malts and that bring out flavors and and taste it, it is it's um i mean me myself i brewed a barley wine uh kit and added ginger root at the beginning and uh the the what what came out was a an absolutely fantastic imperial ginger barley wine and the ginger element because of the root was amazing so you can do it that way i suppose it's just amazing when you think about all the beers that are out there what amazes me is that there's literally thousands of beers different different beers thousands i mean we are talking thousands and yet there's only so many ops there's only so many molds how it's how every beer is not tasting you know not far off the same is it is it's so interesting that was nice lovely bit lovely good bite at the end thoroughly enjoyed that i do come obviously for my years working at sainsbury's on the beers wines and spirits department so you know that's where my love of beers really came to the hill. I was always a fan of beer. Uh, more of the big, big brands than the than the smaller stuff. But that's that's what started my real love of real ales, craft beers, etc. And um, it's coming from a supermarket background. Traditional beers like this are more my um, always more my. Uh, box ticking not box ticking. the sort of beers that you know that i can really relate to but anyway so cal on um i got all the elements mentioned on the back and i like that it's something that breweries need to do up and down the country because people sometimes want especially the uninformed you're buying uh you're a non-beer drinker you're buying for a beer drinker and you know he likes us or he or she likes a certain flavor so you're there and you're like what can i buy and uh, when there's a certain flavor there and it tells you the flavor it makes it so easy so for me um yeah got all the elements a good 4.3 out of 5 really enjoyed it and a big thanks to my welsh friend dave cheers mate it was awesome when you came to nottingham it was that robin Hood beer festival weekend was the best you know I, I had an amazing time meeting with you liam travel and brews and the other beer reviewers it was a cracking weekend and it just goes to show you you can have a great weekend not spend too much to be fair you know we didn't really spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds i had a great time and you know forged some uh, friendships friendships from youtube it's an amazing concept, isn't it? It's the best side of YouTube for me. And that's it for this review. For those people who watch this on this day, I'm live reviewing at seven tonight because I've got to go and drop the cakes off for the wife. Yes, <clears throat> we're in cake season. <laughs> Bless her. But uh, I will be back at seven o'clock and probably either, yeah, I'll be down the shed with the eater on because it's freezing. Cheers, everyone. And... Uh, Frankie and Purple Moose, Purple Moose Brewery. That was a really nice beer. Cheers.